Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figures review. Here we have six different figures, um, but we have the Super 7 Reaction Figures Wave 3 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. These are the reaction figures, so they are on cards, as you can see here, three and three quarter inch in size, kind of a retro throwback um, type of action figure. But with Super 7, what we get is a crazy character selection like Babu and Squat. And Rito Revolto. These are figures that I don't necessarily expect Hasbro to release in the Lightning Collection line. Um, but, I mean, who knows? We shall see. But who else made figures of some of these characters? Did Bandai do it? I know. I think there was a Bamboo, Babu and Squat back in 93, 94 or whatever. You know, when I was a kid and got the Power Rangers figures. I want to say there was. I can't even remember at this point. But these are figures that are just... Well, maybe not so much Rito, but although he was kind of a joke, right, when he was in the show, you know, being Rita's brother and stuff, and and I know there was a lot of laughs and a lot of funny moments when it came to him, right? His voice was kind of funny. Uh, but Babu and Squat were kind of the background characters, the, com the comedy relief um, in terms of the show. I mean, Super Sentai, I don't know what the, the counterpart, the original counterparts, how they were represent uh, represented. Uh, but in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they were kind of a joke, right? Um, so, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, you know, we're going to get all these action figures need... Um, you know, you know, need them on the shelf or anything like that. But with Super 7, the way they do these figures, they give us so many crazy different characters that they can do that. See so here on Wave 3, we have Babu Squat, Rito Revolto. We have the Blue Ranger and the Yellow Ranger. And then we have the Dragon Zord um, in battle mode, which is really cool. Now, these officially launched today. So these figures are available on Super7.com. With the exception of the Yellow Ranger, Trini, she is not quite ready. She's gotten a slight delay. So you won't find her on the website just quite yet. So just keep an eye out for that when she will become available. But again, Super7. Um, Com. I'll have links in the video description below to each one of these figures. Um, so before I get into the review and start ripping these things up, and it's going to pain and kill me to do that, uh, but a big thank you to Super 7 because they actually shipped out this set to me. Um, and it just so happened to arrive on launch day because Super 7 is actually pretty close. Um, it's like it, it's they have a retail store in San Francisco. The Where they ship from, it's only like an hour and a half away from me. So I was able to get these um, overnight. So big thank you to Super 7 for making this video possible, sending these figures out for me to check out. And I am really excited to see these because I haven't taken a close look at some of them in the past. Uh, but looking at the sculpted details on some of these, they're pretty crazy. I mean, the Rangers, there's not a whole lot going uh, for them. You know, they're pretty smooth bodies and everything like that but man like Rito Revolto he's got some crazy details in the sculpt and the paint so that is really cool same with Babu and Squat so we'll take a look at those the centerpiece is going to be that Dragon Zord in battle mode that just looks insane right I love the way that looks but let's get right into it we're going to start with the bad guys we're going to take a look at Babu Squat and Rito and then we'll get into the Rangers Okay, before I stop, start ripping open into these cards, you could just see like the size difference between here. So while the reaction figures are a three and three quarter inch or about four inch, the Zords are actually a six inch figure. So you can see the height difference there, including the, the difference in the size of the cards there. So a six inch uh, figure there. I will show it next to a lightning collection figure so you guys can see how the Zord might look with the lightning collection. These obviously won't really work. Okay, so before I rip into it, they're, I mean, they're unpunched and everything. It's, it hurts me to do this, but I love the way the card looks. We get the old school Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo there. It's all kind of this greenish color, um, just really throwback and nostalgic looking. Um, we get this awesome artwork for each character. So here we have Babu um, there. It just, oh man, it sucks that I'm going to have to rip this open. Ugh. Anyway, but looking at the back of the package, um, we could see the, the different waves. So we had wave one. So we have the Megazord, Red Ranger, Green Ranger, Rita, um, a Putty, and then a Pudgy Pig. Wave two had the Black Ranger, Pink Ranger, Scorpina, Goldar, Lord Zed, and the Dragon Zord. And again, those are six inch figures and not the regular um, three and three quarter inch or four inch figures. So there, I am gonna go back and get these two because I'm very excited about these Zords that I had missed out on. Uh, but here is Babu. Uh, 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 I hate, uh, 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 I hate to do it. Uh, uh, I did it. I did it, guys. 
That was hard. Um, and here it is. He is secured in there. We get these. I don't know if they're wings. I don't know what Babu is. I, so I don't know what the function of these. These look. These are articulated. That's cool. So these are like wings, I guess. I don't even know. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below because I have no idea what this thing is. He, some kind of weird looking bat. I don't know. Let's get in for a closer look. But, yeah, see, I don't know what he's supposed to be. He's just kind of crazy. But look at the sculpted detail in this guy. You know, all of these are going to be unique sculpt, except, you know, the Rangers, of course, because, and rightfully so, they would all just basically be the same uniform look. But, yeah, the sculpted detail is crazy on this guy. Get a head swivel there. Arms go, uh, you get a full rotation at the shoulder. Legs come forward, don't really go back, but they come forward. They even have peg holes at the bottom of the feet there. Yeah, so we got five POA, the wrist swivel, no wrist swivel. So five points of articulation, and then six for um, the wings, the swivel. So I guess it'd be, you know, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine points of articulation. So that is actually pretty cool on these wings. I did not expect that. We even get gold paint on the ends there. That's really cool. Gold paint, paint for the toes of Babu. Sculpted detail in the paint. I mean, there's lots of details in here. Looks really nice. There's like a shading and stuff throughout some of the areas to bring out the details of the sculpt. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's see how he looks to his buddy, Squat. Okay, and here is Squat out of the package. And for accessories, he actually comes with this old school ass looking gun here. Uh, we got a couple of different colors on there. We got brown for the handle, uh, silver color for the barrel, and then the trimming around it is done in a gold color. That looks pretty cool. Let's see if he can hold this in his hands. He doesn't have anywhere to store it, however. Uh, to get it into his hand, you're gonna have to kind of force it a little bit, maybe in his... Oh, here we go. It's way way better in the left hand, so we can use it. I don't remember him ever using a gun in the show. I don't know if that's a Super Sentai thing. <laughs> you guys can let me know down in the comments below, but he can hold it there. Um, and then, again, unique sculpting here. So the head, we got a swivel there. Shoulder gets a full rotation, and then the legs come forward. Whoop. There, so we have the five points of articulation here for squat. He looks really good. Um, the paint on it is nice. We got all these dots that around there, and they all came out very clean, as you can see. There's no paint imperfections or anything like that. Uh, the suspender, the one single suspender, um, we get some brown paint, some silver there for the buckles. Here's another watch. See, I don't know if they got something to do with time that didn't get translated into Power Rangers. I'm not sure. I'd have to... Uh, I know a lot of things must have changed between, you know, set the Super Sentai um, and Power Rangers, but, you know, I'd be curious to see. But getting in for a closer look, looking at the details, we got the nose ring. Eyes are painted real nice. Purple lips there. That helmet looks good with the goggles. Yeah, looking very nice. And, of course, the team, they have Babu and Squat. And I always, I'm going to say, didn't Babu always stand behind Squat? But anyway, there they are. Now let's take a look at Rito Revolto. Okay, so here is Rito Revolto, and he's kind of crazy. He comes with two accessories. He's got this bone sword here. Looks pretty damn cool. Look at that. Look at that, the hilt of the sword, or bones there. Looks like it's all just these bones put together to create this sword. That is crazy. It's done in this like light gray color, but there's a gray wash over it to give it a textured look. So I really like the way they came out looking. Here we have this bone gun. <laughs> it's like this assault rifle, but made out of bone. And that looks really good there. Same thing with as far as the paint, the, the light gray off-white color plastic, and then that gray wash throughout. Looks really cool. Uh, but looking at Rito, man, look at the the crazy sculpted detail on this guy and the paint. Holy shit, look at that. There is even a skull at the back of his head. 
That's crazy. The helmet is in the shape of a skull. That's crazy because his face is a skull. He's got a few skulls here. He's got some there. Got there. Right there. So there's skulls all over this guy. So is he just made of bones? I'd love to hear, and I've never bothered looking this up, but I, I wonder what the Super Sentai counterpart, what the story is about Rito Revolto. Because in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they just made him Rita's brother, which never ever made sense to me but i was kind of like okay yeah that's okay yeah sure why not i didn't question it i was a kid what did i know uh but the sculpted detail is crazy so let's get in for a closer look at rito revolto so here we are a closer look the details on this guy is insane as well as the paint so we get this army camouflage pattern on his left side Nice gold eyes behind the rib cage there for that uh, like another skull look for his whole chest that is just crazy good. The sculpted detail is insane on this guy. And then the gray, the light gray color has that same grayish wash across the whole thing to really bring out the bone texture design. I mean, the skulls inside the nose um, and eyes are just filled in with black paint. That is just crazy. Same here, right here on the other side, even the camouflage side. It is just in, in, in incredible sculpt and paintwork on this guy. Look at these even attach here looks like they're probably glued down but they even attach those this thing is crazy he is five points of articulation though so swivel at the head arm swivel at the shoulder and then legs come forward as you can see there so five points of articulation for this guy but man he looks really really good can't forget he can't easily hold the sword and the gun as you can see there Okay, so here we have Wave 3 villains all together, and you can see that Rito Revolto is actually quite a bit taller than even uh, Babu. Definitely taller than Squat. Well, I guess Squat's technically taller than Babu because he's got this little hair portion that sticks out from the top of his head. Uh, but yeah, awesome character selection. You know, we don't see these in Lightning Collection. I don't know if they will. You know, Hasbro released Finster. Um, Super 7's got an Ultimate Finster coming out too, and that thing looks awesome also. The details on that were really crazy. I watched Kyle um, and Kevin on Toying Around where they actually showed the paint masters of, of the figures and stuff. They look incredible, so I'm really excited about those. But um, I, I don't know that we're going to get these guys in Lightning Collection line. Maybe Super 7 Ultimates will come out before Hasbro gets to, to doing these guys, if they even will at all. You know, we don't really know. I think Finster is... is uh, much more obvious choice because he's the one that makes the monsters and Hasbro is making the monsters. So it makes sense that they would do Finster, whereas Babu and Squat, they didn't they didn't really do anything. They kind of did, well, Squat. I wish I was doing a better job of this. Looking at the artwork looks really cool. Look at Rito Revolta. That artwork looks awesome. Then same here for Squat. Very, very cool. So before I rip open um, these two, let me show you guys the artwork now ahead of time. So we got the Blue Ranger there looking very cool with his lance. There we have the daggers um, for the Yellow Ranger Trini. That looks really good. Um, and now I'm going to rip these guys open. Okay, here we have the Blue Ranger out of the package. And one thing that I noticed right away is actually the Morpher is actually just kind of a generic mold. So the Rangers are all going to share the same body because that Morpher doesn't actually have anything, any painted detail in the Morpher. Let's get in for a closer look. As you can see there, the Power Coin is just a gold uh, circle that kind of allows, you know, them to do the same body mold for the different Rangers and whatnot. We get a lot, plenty of unique sculpts in the line, so... Um, that's not so much of a worry, uh, but one thing that Super 7 did that Hasbro sure as hell doesn't do is they gave us both versions of the blade or two versions of the blade blaster. I guess the other version would be, you know, with the blade out. Um, there's some nice detail on there. So white paint over here and then a little bit of red trim there, which, you know, almost wasn't really even necessary. You know, for this size figure, usually details are a little bit lost. They, this whole thing could have been red and I would have been good with it. Uh, but it's cool that we get the option. So we get the blaster and then the, um, where it's folded. And the only, uh, the only thing though, is he doesn't have a holster to actually holster the, the blaster. So that's a little unfortunate. He does come with his lance. And as you can see here, um, it is a little pliable, so be careful with it. It does kind of bend around, but it has a nice metallic silver paint on the blade portions of the lance, which is really, really cool. And then we get a couple of the 
silver painted details in those areas there. So I really like the way this looks. It does not come apart or anything like that. So the power blaster would not all come together if you have all the pieces. But this looks really good. It's actually a little sharp too. I want to be careful with that. So there it is. Now let's take a look at the Yellow Ranger. Okay, and here now we have the Yellow Ranger. So she comes with, uh, Trini comes with the same blade blasters. Nothing different from the Blue Ranger, so those are the exact same. But here she has her daggers, and these are painted nicely. Nice yellow for the hilts and then silver for the blade. A little sharp, too. I want to be careful. You can kind of poke, poke yourself with them. But those look really good there. And then here is Trini. She is not the same body as Billy. So the two, the male Ranger figures and the female Ranger figures, they do use different bodies. Even though with the Yellow Ranger, it, I guess you could have done the same one because the Super Sentai, again, it was a male actor. That's why the suit was the, didn't have a, include a skirt like the Pink Ranger. Uh, but they are different. Uh, they are different bodies. Same points of articulation, right? Swivel at the head, full rotation on the arms, then legs come forward. As you can see there. But let's get in for some closer details at the helmets because those look pretty damn good. Okay, so looking at the helmets design, and they look really good. Black for the visor, silver for the mouth plate there. The trim details get nice silver paint like the horn for the rhinoceros, the teeth for the saber tooth. Black eyes here. We get yellow eyes here on Billy. Yeah, they look nice. Okay, here's the big one. This is the one that I'm most excited for because it's the Dragon Zord in battle mode. Um, it, putting morphing Mega Zord figures are really cool when you can combine them into the Mega Zord and do all that. That's awesome. But at the same time, I don't mind having figures of the Zords already in their transformed mode. So like here with the Dragon Zord using the Blue Ranger and Yellow. Ra How about you know what? I just realized that in this stupid me here. Uh, but the two figures in this wave are yellow and blue, the legs for the Dragon Zord in battle mode. Black Ranger has actually already been released, um, so that works there, and I think he was in wave two, um, so I, I just now caught on to that, and that's kind of sad. I feel like that sh that's kind of a duh moment kind of thing, and I missed it, and I feel kind of dumb. Anyway, the Dragon Zord in battle mode, really, really cool. I love that we just get figures of the Zords because, you know, transforming them is fun to do. It's really cool, sure. But when you have just the figure, the Zord already together, it's much more sturdy. Like I have the soul of Chogokin, um, the Mega Zord, the Dragon Zord. You can combine them. You could do the battle mode and stuff. But it gets kind of flimsy and not the most sturdy. I, I like having a figures of just like the, them in the robot mode um, because then they're much sturdier and they just look badass. You can get some of the details in there, whereas when you transform, you have to just kind of forget about how something might stick out or whatever. But when you have the figure all together, you don't have to do that. It's just there. Um, so I'm really glad we got that here. Now, ripping this thing open is going to completely destroy the artwork. So I have to show you guys here now because a lot of it's actually covered by the Zord and the, um, I don't even know what this was called. You know, this is the, the chest piece and then the tail, those combine here. I forget, I don't even know if it had a name, um, but it, it kind of gets in the way of all the artwork. But it looks really, really, really cool. Yeah, I need to get me the Dragon Zord and the Mega Zord because those are pretty awesome. I looked for them at the uh, the San Jose Toy Show because Super Seven always has a booth out there, but they didn't have um, they didn't have either of those two. And they said, you know, let us know we can we can come back tomorrow. We can have them, but I wasn't going back Sunday, so that kind of, I, I kind of missed out. But I got to go back and order them. But um, this is the one that I really want, and I, I oh, I'm so hesitant to rip it apart because I don't want to, but. For the review, for the review, I gotta do it. I'm gonna do it on camera too, because it's gonna hurt me. Man, I really don't wanna do it. I, no turning back now. Oh, and I'm really destroying this card now. It's, ah. Uh, yeah, that's. That's no good. That's going in the trash now. Here we have the Zord. This thing is heavy. Like, heavy, heavy. It's not die cast or anything, but the silver paint and the weight of it, I almost would think, like, you know, that's that's got to be die cast. Um, but it isn't. It's, it's 
it's plastic, but it's solid plastic. There's no hollow parts or anything on this guy. I don't know, maybe the torso piece might be a little hollow. It makes sense, you know, when you gotta have arms that connect and stuff. But these legs are super solid and that's where a lot of the bulk of the weight comes from. So there it is and here is the weapon. I don't know if it's I mean, the dragon sword or something. I, I'm not sure exactly, but it's on its stand there. Um, so we'll take a look at that. Let's get in for a closer look and we'll see how how good the details are on this guy. But from where I am, it's pretty incredible. Okay, so looking at it, you know, with a dragon, the mouth opens up and it drops down and we get that face in there. As you can see, that is really good. The details up here look really nice. Nice silver paints all throughout, even on the back and everything. Just looks really, really good. Get that green and gold trim there. Looks awesome. That's the dragon zord symbol, I guess. That's the design that's on the power coin for the Green Ranger. Um, these, I think in the show, weren't they Zs or something? But I think in the figures, in the toys, they didn't use the Zs. I think it was something like that. Now, I don't know all the history and the background information of all those things, but like the Zord Ascension projects that Hasbro is going to be doing, they kind of repurposed that Z design. Um, for Super Sentai, it represented Zoo Ranger, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I know you Super Sentai guys and fans, I mean, you're probably going to hate that I butcher some of those things. Um, but I think that's what it is for uh, here in the U.S. It was it was called Power Rangers, so that's that's what I know, not not Super Sentai stuff. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. The des the details in the Zords are pretty awesome here, like Triceratops, Blue Ranger Zord, nice silver paint in there, Triceratop head, saber tooth tiger, nice silver paint, looks really good. They rounded that out a bit there. Dragon Zords feet, how they like flip up and then they plug into the Zords. It's how they do it. The chest piece, you know, closes. Nice gold trim in there with the green. Looks really good. We get same five points of articulation. So you get a full rotation of the arm. The leg uh, comes forward a little bit, only a little bit. So if that's just standing, that's how far forward that's going to go. Not a whole lot, but I mean, this thing was always kind of slow and just like go like this. And I don't think it really did much fighting because I think it just like use this, it used like this sword thing. There's a handle there so we can actually fit his hand into here. Let's see, you kind of have to work it a little bit. I'm trying to do it quickly here on camera. It's a little. It's a little stiff, so I'm gonna have to work around that a little bit. But I mean, this guy didn't, it, it didn't really do a whole lot. Like, I think it just stood there and was like this, and then like a blast came out of the bad, towards the bad guys and always defeated them and stuff. So, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know that it really moved around a lot, but you know, limited articulation finger, figures, that's kind of what's gonna happen. Uh, but looking at the details here, nice silver paint through here, and you could see kind of the drill portion of the tail. This chest plate looks really good. Nice colors, silver, gold, red, green in there. All looks pretty good. And then here's kind of the stand. Looks about right from the original toy and everything as well. Again, you can see how tall that stands. Actually, just about the same height as the Dragon Zord itself. So that's pretty cool. So that's it. Now let's see all of Wave 3 together again. Okay, so here's all of Wave 3 together. Again, they are available right now at Super7.com. Today was the official release date. However, the Yellow Ranger isn't quite ready. There is a little bit of a delay. I don't know exactly when she'll become available to order, but hopefully it will be soon. But the rest are available right now. Now, pricing I know is gonna be a big topic that a lot of folks are gonna talk about. $17.99 in stores, $18 flat uh, through Super 7. The Zords then being a six inch figure, a little bit more, $23.99 through other retailers, $24 through Super 7. So here's the deal, I get it. It's high, you get six inch figures that are like $19.99, but have now gone up, $22.99, $24.99. Um, as far as I know, Super 7, that price is gonna stay um, there at the $17.99. So it's a four inch figure, $17.99, it's a lot, I understand. Think about it this way though, they are a licensed 
um, products. So Hasbro licenses it out to Super 7 to produce figures. So there is the, the licensing fee that Super 7 has to pay to produce the figures as well. That's also going to cut into the cost a bit. Them being the reaction figures, it's a niche collector market item, right? It's not for everybody. Not everyone's going to get it. Hardcore fans of Power Rangers may get it, or nostalgic fans that see them in stores might pick them up. Um, but they're not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. Whereas Lightning Collection, maybe a lot of folks are going to get those and not go into the Super 7 reaction figures. Completely understandable. Again, very, very niche market um, with all the different properties and licenses that they have. They, these look awesome on card, so it's not something that you're really going to want to play around with or anything like that. In fact, the package actually says, and I quote, adult collectible, not a toy, ages 14 plus. Um, so there's that $17.99. It is, it is high. I, I will, I will agree with you. It is high. The artwork on the packaging and the cards look awesome. Um, the plastic is nice. The paintwork is, is incredible. The details are all there. Um, so it's again, just the, one of those things that, you know, for a collector item, is it something that you want to have in your collection? $17.99. The price hasn't gone up while other action figure lines have gone up. That's also something to think about. But if you don't, if you don't agree with the price, completely understand. I'm kind of in the same boat that, you know, do I want to pay $18 for these four inch figures to complete a team or to complete every character who knows how deep they're they're gonna go um with these characters you know we shall see the zords at 24 dollars are pretty damn awesome though the details in the paint are are incredible they're solid they are heavy they are not going anywhere and they just look incredible and think about this again dragon zord in battle mode will we get other figures that actually are like that we know the Zord Ascension project is going to be able to combine into that, but it's going to be massively tall. It's going to be hard to fit on the shelf. And how sturdy is that going to be? I, I don't know. Hopefully it will be very sturdy. But for now, on the card or out of the package right there on the shelf, that's going to look pretty awesome. And that's kind of what I'm looking at. Plus, character selection. Rito Revolto, which I just hit his sword there. Uh, Rito, Rito Revolto, Babu, and Squat. Are we going to get those in other action figure lines? Who knows? Probably not. Um, so Super 7 is really going after a lot of different characters, so there's also that advantage there. You're getting unique sculpts on most of these things, with the exception of the Rangers, of course, but the other characters are all going to have unique sculpts. Pudgy Pig, uh, Rita Repulsa, Lord Zed, Scorpina, Goldar, Rito, Babu, Squat, they're all all unique sculpts so that is something also to think about but uh links in the video description below if you're interested you can put in orders for them through directly through super7.com again yellow ranger is slightly delayed um so stay tuned for that uh but wave three you guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think of these super seven reaction figures are they something that you are interested in um or is it something that you guys are going to pass on you guys let me know in the comments below uh big shout out again to, and thank you to super seven for uh sending these my way so i can show you guys i really appreciate it um and that's it that's my review thank you for watching really appreciate it guys if you guys like the video please do me a favor hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so all as always thank you for watching